Hey guys, it's Bob Morreale here with the Tuning School, and on today's Tech Tuesday, we're going to teach you how to do a modified power balance test so you can check the health of each cylinder in your engine. Hey guys, all right, so we're here in our 2006 Corvette C6 uh, LS2 powered car uh, with cam, headers, uh, and intake uh, as the mods. And so what we're gonna do with this type of a power balance test is we're going to uh, turn off the injectors one at a time, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently. You usually use this kind of a test when you're at idle and you're trying to find a bad injector. But what we're gonna do is use this to actually kind of find uh, what our health of individual cylinders really is. So we're going to run the car up to 2800 RPM, and then we're going to put it in third gear and have the dyno hold us. Now on our Mustang chassis dyno, it's gonna actually keep us at 2800, and we're going to hold our throttle exactly steady. So the key to this test working is the throttle position cannot change. The dyno is going to hold you exactly steady. And during that time, we're going to watch the horsepower live in real time. And so as we're, we're at that point, with all the cylinders running, we're going to see how much power it makes. And as that uh, is occurring, we will then begin to turn off the cylinders one at a time. And we're going to see how much power drops on every single cylinder one at a time. Now by doing this, you can isolate problems to individual cylinders. So you can determine whether or not each cylinder is contributing properly to the whole. Uh, and also help you figure out if you have bad valve springs or bad valves, or maybe you're just uh, individual issues. Maybe you have injectors or spark plug problems or coil pack problems. So by doing this test, you can actually uh, narrow down and see how the engine's running individually. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and bring the engine up. We're gonna put it in a third gear, 2800. We're gonna hold it at that speed on the dyno. And we chose that speed because we get good, clean, steady horsepower readings in real time. So let's get it started. Okay, so now that we have our traction control turned off, our scanner running, we're going to go into the HP Tuner scanner and we're going to use the live controls. You can do that by clicking the icon here or under vehicle menu, controls and special functions. And next we're going to go over to fuel. And you see here now we can disable each injector individually as we go. So what we're going to do is uh, pull the car up, get it running, holding steady, and you'll actually notice when we disable each injector one at a time, there will be a pitch change. The exhaust will change uh, as we turn them off one at a time. So we're going to turn them off one at a time, watch the power drop, and then go to the next injector. So we're in third gear now. Okay, we're right at 2800 RPM. And we're holding the throttle steady. It makes right at 70 to 75 horsepower right in that range. We're gonna disable the injector number one now. 53, 55, so we've dropped from 70 to 55. Let's do injector two now. 55, 57, okay, that's good. Injector three, 55, 58, injector four, 55 is the average. Injector 5. 55 is the average. Fifty-five, fifty-six, and that would be injector 6. Injector 7. Same thing. Injector 8. Really kind of a little bit higher there, 58. All right, let's turn it off. All 
Okay, so let's shut down the engine so we can discuss what we found. All right, so engine's off, scanner's off. Let's go ahead and review what we figured out here. Each of the injectors, when we turned them off one at a time, turned off that cylinder. So what we found is that each of these cylinders was dropping to about 55 to 58 uh, horsepower, which is actually really good results. What that tells us is that each individual cylinder is healthy. If we had turned off an injector and found little or no power drop whatsoever, that would tell us we have a problem on that individual cylinder. We hope you've enjoyed this video. For more high performance tuning knowledge, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on social media. And as always, stay tuned.